Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate your sends. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you can keep up to date with the latest releases coming from the Wing Sound Studio. Okay, so I have an instrument track here with the Battery 3 plugin and I just created a quick uh, eight bar sequence. And in order to, you know, automate your sends, you have to use buses. So on that instrument track, I'm gonna choose a bus that I'm not using. So it's bus one and two. And I'm gonna bring that up to Unity. Now what you wanna do is create an aux like I have here. I created a stereo aux and I've instantiated the D-verb reverb plugin on it with the large room preset. And I boosted up the decay and the pre-delay just to kind of exaggerate the effect so you can really hear what's going on. So on that aux that you've created, you want to use uh, the same bus that you just sent out the instrument track through, bus 1 and 2, as the input of that aux. Alright, so bus 1 and 2. Okay, and you know here's my little sequence that I created. And in order to get to that automation, you can do it right over the region. If you go over here to where it says region, click this little arrow and you can find send A, bus 1 and 2. And you know, you have your choice of level, muting and panning. Or what I like to do is this little arrow on the bottom left hand corner of the instrument track here is the automation. So just click on this arrow to find it. So we have instrument track one, send A, bus one and two, and you have your choices of level muting and panning. I'm just gonna choose level right now. All right, so you know, you can grab your pencil tool, draw it in, or you can just make some quick points with the pencil tool. You can hold down control, and as you can see, there it is, and I can, you know, make some quick points or draw in some stuff. Or you can also hold down command and you see the little grabber tool has a plus on it so you can add in some points to adjust or you know you can manually draw in your automation as if you were drawing in you know any other uh, automation just click here and choose touch latch or right and you know go grab the fader of that bus and draw in that automation data so I'm gonna boost up the level a bit because I really want to exaggerate it so you can hear what's going on and I'm just gonna make some quick adjustments here so the first four bars are gonna have the reverb in it and then the second four bars I'm gonna take it out all right so let's hear this now all right you know really easy just like any other automation basically you just gotta you know look and find the right bus that you're using you know to automate so I'll do another quick one with muting okay so once it gets to this other four bars it's not it's gonna be muted All right, you get the idea. Now I did it on an instrument track, but you can do this on an audio track as well. So, you know, really cool to add emphasis to certain parts in your song. You know, like let's say you got a guitar solo or some kind of synth solo going on and you know, you can really drive that effect, you know, real quick for like certain, you know, notes on that solo and you know, get some you know, really dynamic stuff going on within your song. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.